welcome back to our channel. I'm Ernie. I'm Bobo. And this is Well In Cut TV. <laughs> we are right here at Family Mart. Okay, so why are we here leh? How come leh? Well, the purpose is because we actually want to share some tips on how to actually choose healthier breakfast options. Okay, many times right, we notice that a lot of people who are very busy, lah, all the busy bees, right, they will actually just, you know, go to the nearest convenience store or go to their favorite convenience store to just grab a snack without actually considering the quality of the food. And also, I think we want to correct the misconception yeah. that most people have that family mart um, you know, it's, it's very, very expensive, yes. and then you can't really find good food, healthy yes. food. There. Yes, but we're here to actually tell you that it's actually pretty easy. Okay, but we want to add disclaimer that the examples that we will be sharing is not 100% healthy and also it's not 100% balanced. Yes. We yes. just want to share advice on how to healthy fight. Yes, healthy fight yes. yes, up the choices. Without further ado, we can yes. go. Yes, yep. let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Alright, so we'll start with the bread section first. So why do we start from the bread section? It's because it's a very convenient food. Everybody when they come to convenience store, right, the first thing they want to buy is straight away buy bread and then they just grab and go. But today we want to see why is it that we don't really recommend this kind of bun. So let's just look at the bun over here. Mainly it's all carb sources. So even though you can see some is with the sausages and all right, but it's processed meat. So basically, all of these mostly are sugar or cream cheese or like condensed milk so we don't really recommend because it's not so balanced and it won't provide you the satiety as well which is why we will lean towards the sandwich okay so we have a variety of sandwich over here you can see we have like classic tuna sandwich we have like egg mayo we have like crab stick and all so the first rule to choosing sandwich is that you need to make sure you avoid all the processed meat because processed meat they are mostly higher in calories higher in fat as well as they contain preservatives that are related to cancer all right so what are the things that i would recommend from here it will be the egg sandwich why first thing first is because of the bread itself the bread being used here is actually the whole meal bread other than that egg is also a highly digestible as well as absorbable protein so it's very good for your body if you don't really like egg you can also just choose for the tuna mayo as well as the sardine mayo there's no issue all of these are actually a good source of protein and you can see there are actually vegetables inside if you compare to the bun just now bun is just mostly carbohydrates and also sugar so this is more of like a complete meal next one you can actually top up with either soy milk or milk for your calcium intake so if you look at this there are a lot of milk over there normally we will recommend the low fat one because it's lower in calories but they still provide the same calcium content all right so whoever who suffer from like lactose intolerance or they cannot take milk right you can also opt for the soy milk Okay, so the next item we're going to talk about is the onigiri. Come, come, come. Okay, so the onigiri, as we know, right, is the top seller in Family Mart. Okay, so what is the tip to choosing a healthier onigiri? So many choices, right? Which to pick? Okay, so as you know already, that Bobo had already shared, right, we should pick something whereby it's not processed food. So why? Because processed food has less nutritional value, right, and also very high in sodium. So what we can see is you know for example like the snow crab as we all know snow crab is a processed food right and then so that's why we should opt for something maybe a little bit more whole like for example salmon and so on how about sauces you can see there's many kind of sauces there is teriyaki sauce there is also like what spicy deva and there is mayo so many options no? but all these right actually contains calories it also contains fats and at the same time also these sauces also probably contains high sodium so what i would suggest is actually choosing something like grilled because why grilled method normally uses less sauce and let's say right if you are vegetarian all these options are not suitable for you well you can actually offer the idamame onigiri as you can see this one got so cute cute all the small idamame here idamame is also very good because why it's actually a source of protein so it's very good for those who are vegetarian and also on top of that you can also get your fiber intake from here how do we make it a little bit more balanced well, I would recommend to actually top up with something like your vegetables, your fiber in because we all know, right, that onigiri, we see got the seaweed and then inside there is mainly rice and also a little bit of protein. So, how to add in our fiber leh? Well, we can look here. So, as we know, family also sell salad. But then, if we're talking about salad, right, we know, right, these are a little bit more expensive already. If you're willing to spend more than 9 dollars go ahead and top up with your salad. Okay, so let's say you want to achieve something within 990. Come, I show you a little tip. 
Okay, so how we can actually achieve our fiber intake besides salad eh, is we can actually achieve it from Oden. So yes, I know regarding Oden, right? Actually, Oden is not recommended. Like why? Because Oden contains very high in sodium, which is coming from the soup and also coming from the fish balls and all the fish cake and so on. So actually, I wouldn't really recommend taking so much of the fish cake and also the fish balls because all those, as I mentioned, is processed food. Man. Yeah, so let's say you want to add in your fiber intake, you can actually choose your corn. Come, let's see. So as you can see here, this is our Oden. Okay, so what we can actually choose to incorporate into our combo set to also provide fiber is actually things for example the corn piece the corn oh corn don't have corn don't have oh. so sad oh. okay never mind if corn don't have we can just add daikon okay other daikon back so daikon you can see it's very big yeah it's a very very big portion you can get your good amount of fiber there already okay and then also what we can add is egg yes because your egg will provide more protein ma. Wow. yummy and then another thing right Regarding Oden, ah, I know it's very tempting, you know, to drink the soup because the soup is so nice. I've been there, I can relate. But then, oh, as I mentioned, oh, soup oh, contains very high in sodium, eh? very, very high. So my tip will be to actually request for lesser soup. Try to avoid finishing all the soup or probably eat it on its own. Okay, so right after the onigiri recommendation by Lee Eun, now we look into the Malaysian Delight Combo Set. So normally for me, myself, I think that Mihun is quite a staple for Malaysian breakfast. And the others will be quite a heavy meal for me, I would say. So Mihun, if you can see from here, is basically just the Mihun, which is the cups, as well as a little bit of like fish cakes, which is quite insignificant, not very high in protein. So if I were to eat like this, right, I won't feel full as well. What about you, Lee Eun? Same. I'll be super hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, if we just eat like this, it's safe to say that you won't feel full, right? So we are here to actually recommend another things that you can top up together with this mihun in order for you to feel fuller. Okay, so Lian, what is your recommendation for the top ups? Okay, so what I would recommend is probably you can add your salad. Why? So I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that fiber actually kind of provides satiety, right? It makes you feel fuller. So let's say something like this, you notice also it's very obvious as Bobo mentioned, there is only carbs and there's very little protein. So what you can do is you can top up your vegetables. So where leh? Ah, we come over this side. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so we can see there are many varieties of salad right here. So which one would you pick? So as Bobo mentioned earlier on, right, a tip that she gave is to avoid processed food. So you can see this one already got processed food, right? So this one we want to say, no, we want to say bye-bye. Okay, then move on. You see this wakame. Am I pronouncing it right? Wakame? <laughs> yeah, wakame salad. Okay, so this one we will recommend this the best. Because if let's say we look at the rest. Uh, this one... Okay, this one looks very good because oh, you can see a lot of protein. Wow, fantastic. You got your egg, you got your chicken. But then when you look down here, wow, apple ini, what is this? This one is fried noodles. So since it's fried noodles, we know lah. This one is very high in calories already. So we wouldn't recommend this. So this one, bye-bye. And then let's say we look at this rainbow salad. This rainbow salad, we can see that this one is not too bad because you can see they have barley here. So if, let's say if you feel that that cup intake is not sufficient for you, you can actually top this up, you can actually take this one also. And how about something cheaper? For example, like a potato salad and snow crab salad. This one, what do you think? This one, well, we must say based on our advice, we do not recommend potato salad because do you notice any vegetable? This one only! Where are the rest? Okay, maybe we can see some small slices of corn and also carrot but this is not sufficient so this one we can see is very obvious this one there's a lot of carbs and also there is a lot of mayo so this one no no we won't really recommend lah so the go-to is dun -dun, wakame salad yes so actually if you if you look at this right you will be able to like imagine and visualize if you were to eat this amount of food in all together right you will be able to feel full yes. and you get all the nutrients in also yes yep All right, so we're done with the family mud tour and I hope that the three combos that we provided to you just now is actually feasible as well as practical to you and we hope that you find something like knowledgeable yeah. to, to be able to like keep for next time when you want to visit like convenience stores yeah. The tips will be like practical for you. Mm. Okay, so and then we buy in Family Mart using the combos that we provided just now, right? It will not only save you some time, it will also save you your money as yeah. well as your health. And yes. it's all within just $9.90! Yep, 
So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please comment below on what are the other contents that you want to look forward to and then just share it to your friends. Yes. Because you know, I'm pretty sure this tip will be pretty helpful to everyone out there. That will be all for our videos today. See you next time. Bye! Bye.